Hello everybody! Today um, I have chosen, I think, a pretty useful topic, which is useful phrases. Okay, we're going to talk about mm, 15 useful phrases. So this live is going to be in English, not Spanish. Remember that my account is changing a little bit. Okay, so for example, useful phrases is like the English that we need, right? Remember that everything that we study uh, at school, okay, following books, is not what you usually find when you go abroad. So, for example, let's start straight away, okay? I hope you're ready. I have chosen 15 phrases for you. So, the first one, if somebody says, hello, my name's Roxana. Hello, my name's Roxana. Um, what do you say? You can say, hello, uh, I'm Roxana or hi, my name's Roxana. Usually you say, hello, and your name. Eh? So for example, hi, my name's Roxana. Oh, hello, I'm Julia or hello, I'm Betsy for example. So you usually reply with another hello or hi um, with your name, right? So that will be number one. Number two, it is a bit late, you know, you are, maybe you live, a, you share the flat and you live with other people and it's getting a bit late, so it's nearly 11 uh, p.m. So you tell to your friends, a, um, I'm going to bed now, I'm going to bed now, I'm going to bed now, okay? So, your friend will say, what do you think? I'm going to bed now. You can say, good night, sleep well, good night, see you tomorrow, good night, sleep well, no? Because sometimes I've heard when somebody says, uh, I'm going to bed now. Oh, goodbye. You know, goodbye is when you meet somebody and you have to go. But if you're at the same place, you know, you all live together in the same um, place and you want to say, oh, hello, Acedero. <laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Oops. Hello. I click uh, something that I shouldn't have. <laughs> okay. So, um, if I say, I'm going to bed now, my friend, okay, is going to say, ah, um, good night, sleep well. Not goodbye, but good night. Good night, sleep well. Okay. Another one. Now, this is a bit, maybe similar. What does it mean, I'm off? I'm off. So let's imagine I am about to finish this Instagram live and say, I'm so sorry everybody, but I'm off to do something. I'm off. It means I have to finish the Instagram live. So if I'm, if I, <clears throat> if I say I'm, I'm off uh, to a party tonight, okay, it means that you are going somewhere else, that you're going to a place. I'm off to the supermarket. I'm off to uh, start my English lesson. I'm off to cook, okay? I'm off to watch a movie on Netflix, for example. So if somebody says, I'm off to a party, uh, you can say, hmm, hey, have a great time. Enjoy yourself. You deserve that. You see, the phrases that we use are not the common phrases that you find on textbooks, all right? So if I'm saying, uh, I'm off, I'm off to a party tonight. Oh really, are you? Have a great time, Roxy. Yeah? That could be one answer, okay? So, or you can say, hey, have a nice time, enjoy. Okay, dance a lot, for example, okay? Hello, Mariam. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, another phrase. If I say, for example, uh, let's imagine you have a friend that you have invited uh, to your place, uh, another cup of tea, another cup of tea, another cup of tea, another cup of coffee, Susan, 
No, you're inviting your friend another drink. Another cup of tea, Susan, or the name. Uh, and if I'm thirsty, say, yes, please, <laughs> I really need some coffee, you know, I'm a bit tired. Or, yes, I really need a drink, I'm so thirsty. Okay, so another cup of, another cup of tea, Susan, another cup of coffee, Michael. <gasps> yes, please. Thank you, thanks. Yes, I'm so thirsty or I really need uh, a hot drink right now. Okay? Mm -hmm. Another one. Let's imagine that someone is standing in front of you. Someone is standing, standing in front of you. And you want to pass, you know, you want to, to carry on. <laughs> so what do you say? Come on, move. No. <laughs> you say, Excuse me, please. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Excuse me, please. Um, in England, um, everything is like, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Thank you. So if someone is standing in front of you and you want to pass, you say, Excuse me, please. Excuse me, please. Um, so that person hopefully will move a little bit and you can walk, right? Okay, so that's expression number five. We're talking about useful expressions, the expressions that we don't usually find uh, in a grammar lesson or in textbooks, right? Another one that I have, okay, I have 15 phrases for you today. You open a door for someone to go through because you're a gentleman or maybe just to, like for example, me, you know, if you see somebody walking here and you say, okay, you open the door for someone to go through. You open the door for someone to go through. And that person looks at you and you say, after you, yeah? Because you want to be polite. Maybe the other person is, you know, carrying lots of bags or is pregnant or maybe they have children or maybe they are a bit, older than you, so you open the door for some, someone else to go through and you say, after you, after you. I think that's nice. You know? I remember that when I was pregnant uh, the last month, many people used to do that, you know, like, after you, after you, and you say, oh, thank you very much. You know, so you open a door for someone to go through no, click, and you say, hey, after you, no? So, you go first, I'll go after you. Now, what about when someone is looking very unhappy? What would you do if somebody is looking very unhappy and you know that person, okay? What can you do? You say, come on, cheer up. Come on, cheer up. Or, are you okay? Um, tell me what's going on, okay? So, someone is looking very unhappy. I think the first thing that I will do is like, are you okay? Come on, cheer up. Uh, do you want to talk about it? No, you, you want to offer some help, okay? Maybe that person is your friend. Now you are calling somebody, okay? Uh, could I speak to Susan, please? Could I speak to? Could I speak to Susan, please? She's out at the moment. I can take a message. Can I take a message? No? So could I speak to? Could I speak to Haman? Please, he's out at the moment. Can I take a message? Oh, yes, please, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you want to talk to somebody. Could I speak to Roxy, please? She's out at the moment. Can I take a message? Yes, please. And you continue with the message, no? Or maybe you say, no, thank you. I'll call back. I'll, I'll call back later. That depends on you, no? Do you want to leave a message or not? Up to you. 
Another one, uh, maybe at a party and you want to introduce somebody. You say, uh, for example, let's imagine my friend is here. So I say, um, Pam, this is Michael. Pam, this is Michael. And the other person will say, oh, hello, pleased to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Okay, Pam is my friend. Pam, this is Michael. Pam, this is Michael. Oh, and Pam will say, oh, hello. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Pleased to meet you. Right? Okay. Now, if we want to do something tonight, okay, we want to make some plans and you want to ask a question like inviting somebody to do something with you, you know, it's Friday night. Well, it's not Friday night, is it? Thursday night. <laughs> Let's imagine it's Friday night, okay? So you say, what shall we do tonight? What shall we do tonight? You know, that's like, that question is inviting, is, uh, is suggesting an activity to do together. So, what shall we do tonight? What shall we do tonight? What shall we do tonight? And maybe your friend says, how about going to the park, to the cinema, to the pub? Okay, I know that nowadays it is a bit difficult because of all this, okay? So one more time. What shall we do tonight? What shall we do tonight? And your friend says, how about going to the cinema? How about going to the pub? How about uh, going to the museum, etc.? Remember we use this question when we want to do something with somebody else, yeah, an activity. Okay, so today we're talking about useful phrases. Now, another one, it says, um, let's imagine you are at the restaurant, you have finished your lunch, your dinner, and you want to pay for a meal at the restaurant. You want to pay for the meal you had at the restaurant. So what would be the question? You have finished eating and you want to pay for a meal at a restaurant. Well, usually we say, uh, could I have the bill please? Could, could I have the bill please? Could, the pass of can, could, could I have the bill please? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So one more time, you have finished your lunch or your dinner and you want to pay for the meal at the restaurant. So you say, could I have the bill, please? The bill, could, could. Could I have the bill, please? Sure. Another one. Let's imagine you go into a shop, okay? You're just looking around, you're in the shop, and the shop assistant says, can I help you? Can I help you or may I help you? But you don't have any money. <laughs> You're just looking around, okay? So you can say, it's all right, <laughs> thank you. I'm just looking, you know? So one more time, you are at the store, okay? And the shop assistant comes your way and says, can I help you? May I help you? And you say, it's all right, thank you, I'm just looking. I, I don't know you guys, but um, for example, when I go to a shop, I don't like people following me and asking, are you okay? Can I help you? Do you need anything? It's like, I'm just looking, you know, I'm just looking and I need my privacy. But to be polite, you say, it's all right, thank you. I'm just looking, okay? And hopefully, they will go away. <laughs> Sometimes they, they, they ask you more questions. Okay, if you have any doubt, just please call me, okay? Uh, we have these in different sizes and different colors and you, you are like, it's all right, thank you. I'm just looking, I'm just looking. Hello, not some grammar. <laughs> Okay, another one. I am hungry. Ooh, 
I'm hungry. Okay, so let's imagine you are at a friend's house and you say, I'm hungry. And you know, you're very good for your close friends. You say, help yourself to a sandwich. Help yourself, like stand up and do it. And I'm not going to do it for you, no? Help yourself, no? See the thing. Help yourself to a sandwich. Help yourself to something. Now be careful with that, okay? Help yourself to. The preposition to. Help yourself to a sandwich, a fruit, a snack, for example. Okay? Another one. You don't hear or understand something someone says to you. You don't hear or under understand something that someone says to you. So what do you say? What? What? <laughs> you don't say that, right? You can say, um, sorry? Uh, could you repeat that again? Um, sorry? Could you repeat that again? Okay. Never say like, what? <laughs> but real English, I think, sometimes you say what, okay? I've had that kind of conversation with my friends uh, back in the U in USA, no? in New Zealand or in England, you know? You say something like, what? <laughs> it's like, okay. Uh, but usually, if you want to be polite, you say, Sorry, I didn't, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. No, I didn't understand that. I didn't get that. Can you repeat, please? Okay. Now, um, maybe you want to offer a drink. Uh, would you like a drink? Would. Would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm driving, so I can't... Um, I can't... Uh, I can't drink, okay? Would, would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? Mm, no, thank you, I'm driving tonight, so maybe tomorrow, tomorrow or next week, I'll have a drink, okay? Uh, come again. <laughs> okay, so, would you like a drink? No, thank you, I'm driving, maybe next week, okay? All right, so, we have uh, briefly talked about 15 different useful phrases. Remember that when we learn another language, it is very important, of course, to know the grammar, vocabulary, and to, to think about the input that you get. Everything that you get is the input, no? The, the things that you read, that you listen to, the videos that you watch, so that input, input. But something also very, very important is the output. So today we've talked about useful phrases and that's the output, you know, your, uh, the production when you answer or respond to questions or expressions or situations, okay? So that would be the output, when you're able to answer questions and keep the communication or the conversation going. So remember, input and output, input and output. When you learn a second language, you have four main skills, okay, four skills. So the input would be listening, okay, and reading, no? You listen, you listen to different sources, videos, audios, etc. And what you read, letters, emails, blogs, posts on, on, on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. And the output would be the production stage, you know? your time, speaking and writing, speaking, okay? Dialogues, etc. and writing, reports, emails, essays, okay? I know that many people right now are, con are you know, concent concentrating now, but more people are more um, fun of speaking. You know? They all want to learn fast because they want to communicate. And that's the idea, no? Um, if you are not able to uh, start and carry on with a conversation, 
it's difficult, but what can I do in order to start a conversation and to carry on with a conversation where you need vocabulary? And um, where do I get the vocabulary from? Through reading, through listening, through all the input that's, that's out there, okay? So thank you very much. Today I've talked about 15 useful phrases. Um, I will maybe go live tomorrow. I'm not sure, but for sure I will go live on Saturday and Sunday. Just briefly, like maybe uh, 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, so notes on grammar says learning takes time. It does indeed, a lot of time. So that's why he, my advice, my, my piece of advice to everyone no, and to my students mainly is to have an aim, okay? Not, not an aim for life like, ah, oh, my aim is I want to learn English. No, your aim for this month, oh, okay, for this month I would like to learn, you know, the most common phrasal verbs and I will and I want and I want to be able to to write sentences using those phrasal verbs. I would like to start a conversation using those phrasal verbs. So when you think about your aims, don't think about, I want to learn English. That's it. That's my aim. No, you have to be specific this month or oh, this summer, this winter. I want to learn everything about fashion in English. So you have the vocabulary, you listen to podcasts, you watch documentaries. So you are involved in one topic. So think about, again, you want to learn English, of course. How, when, and what's your aim, you know? For example, when I started learning English, I was very young and I didn't know what to do because I was not paying for the course. My mom paid for the course. But now that you are, that we are grown up, you know, you say, for example, if right now I want to learn about video editing, I don't, if I want to hire somebody, I don't say, I don't tell them, I want to learn about editing of videos. No, sound, transition, uh, animations. What do you want to learn exactly, right? So that's my advice. <laughs> okay, so learn about a specific field. Yeah, that's usually what I do, you know? is uh, start with something that you like. For example, I love um, cooking, okay? So if I want to keep, you know, learning vocabulary, expressions, well, I go to the BBC, the BBC Cook, uh, I think they have a blog and a podcast as well. I listen to that all the time. So I get to know all the vocabulary about cooking, you know, shopping, etc. So think about what I like, you know, what I like in my mother tongue. Uh, many, many people would say, I like money. <laughs> okay, well, that was a joke. But think about what you like, you know, like music, painting, you like social media, you like video editing. Okay, so watch documentaries, interviews, etc. on that very specific topic. What I usually do as well, when I want to learn something, I go onto Twitter. And I type, no? hashtag, for example, a video editing. And I can read different short posts. And that's when I keep learning new expressions. Because remember, uh, English is not my first language, okay? I teach English, but I'm always learning and learning and trying to be a better teacher as well. Okay, so thank you very much. And I will see you on Saturday and Sunday. Have an amazing weekend, okay? In standard sense, uh, we always feel trouble while speaking. Yeah, um, and that's because we need more vocabulary, you know, and expressions. If you can study, you know, like useful expressions, it will be, um, you, you will see that you will get a bit farther into a conversation. If you have a good chunk, of expressions and collocations, I'm sure you will go to the next level because sometimes we're stuck saying yes, <laughs> no, uh, well, but you need you need more. You need you need more. Okay, so your Spanish teacher is here as well. Hello, Luisa. Hello. 
Um, muchas gracias por estar aquí. <laughs> How to sound like a native speaker? Why do we want to sound like native speakers? Why? I think it's, it is beautiful to keep our accent. I know, for example, for sure, I have an accent from Peru because I'm from Peru. My accent, my accent is a, maybe a little bit mixed because I have, I have also lived in the UK and New Zealand. But I'm never, never trying to force my my tongue you know my voice i like my voice and i want to sound peruvian <laughs> so maybe we have to concentrate on pronunciation yeah pronunciation and sound like there are two different things you know i know some people who want to sound like american and they are always with the r you know and they sound like What's wrong with your mouth? Like, or, or. <laughs> no, I think, you know, sound like yourself, you know, mm, don't try to Im imitate uh, sounds. Um, just be yourself. Just be yourself, okay? Uh, because, yeah, I, of course, pronunciation is, is important, but to sound like, no, I don't want to sound like somebody, you know? I just want to be me, 100% myself, because I'm very proud of, of me, of me <laughs> and where I come from. Okay, so um, thanks for the questions. Uh, I don't know what's, what your name is, Stabor, I don't think so, no? So maybe your name maybe is Sikandaria. Sikandaria. Okay, welcome and um, thanks for your comment and uh, your comments okay so um have a great i i don't know why i think it's friday today but it's thursday anyway have a great weekend and see you on saturday okay bye bye everybody